In August, we had taken a look at Embed Chain, which is a powerful open source rag framework that lets you create LM bots fairly easily with your own data. Now, just this week, they have updated their framework so that you can now work with front end layers. Embed Chain so far had been a back end product where you can work with different types of rag apps as well as help create these types of applications. You as a user can either use it on Clay or as a script, or you can even run it as a web server using Fast API, Flask, or any sort of other web framework. Now, there was a very common use case for RAG apps, which is creating chats, chatbots, or any sort of Q&A UI. But the problem was is that you couldn't create RAG apps with front end layers. And this is where this new update now allows you to actually create chat UIs, admin UIs, as well as utilizing REST APIs. Now, this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as we go into exploring this new update of Embed Chain. Now, just take a look at this example where they have created a chat with PDF application using embed chain. I simply just needed to input my open AI API key over here, as well as upload the PDF that I want to chat with. Now, this is basically just a random PDF on multi-model models, and we're just going to basically chat with it. So in this case, I'm just going to ask it, what is this research paper talking about? And I simply input that prompt in and it summarizes what this actual research paper is talking about. Now you can ask it very detailed things where you can ask it to find something like what is happening in this section over here. And it's quite intricate as to how this PDF chatbot uh, application is actually able to operate. And it just goes to show that you're able to create various simple applications with this framework. And not only are you able to create something like this, but you're also able to chat with certain types of personalities, certain types of data sets that you can basically fine tune the chat bot with this rag framework so that you can get that like responses that you want. In this case, you have this persona of a Sadhguru uh, AI, which is a type of mystic yogi, visionary and spiritual master in which you can ask questions about life as well as the universe and everything else. Now, you're also able to create chatbots with specific types of personalities, which is really, really cool. And this is something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. Now, Embed Chain is something that streamlines deploying RAG APIs as well as RAG apps in production so that you're able to support both conventional as well as configurable approaches when creating such frameworks or applications. This is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as this is quite an innovative uh, application, I would say, in helping you create various different types of LM based applications. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, you have consulting, you have investment opportunities, collaboration, and so much more. Definitely take a look at this link in the description below. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at embed chain, which is an open source tool that helps you create as well as use AI applications using its rag framework. Now it's a toolbox for helping you create various different types of applications. And now with the addition with the front end layer, you can create fully functional rag applications with embed chain fairly easily. Now you're able to quickly create these applications using retrieval augmented generation, which means that it's good at handling different types of information and improving the performance of your application. It also organizes the data, turns into useful chunks and stores them efficiently for quick access. Now Ben chain is something that provides various tools and it basically allows you to get specific details using this new update of rest APIs. You can find accurate answers or even interact with chat conversations using some of its features within its framework. Now, this is the great thing about this new update with embed chain. And it's something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video, as this is something that makes it conventional, but configurable. Now, let's take a look at some of these updated features with this new embedded chain update. 
You're able to use user-friendly APIs, which can help you create and launch your first Frag application within Embed Chain's framework. It's quite simple, and yet it's also customizable. You're able to integrate various different types of large language models, whether that's Mistral, Hugging Face models, or even, even OpenAI or Anthropic. Now, this is the great thing, as before, you were actually restricted from using such models, but now you're able to use most of the LMs that are out there. You're also able to use different types of vector databases. In this case, you can now use different types that are compatible within embed chain. You're able to load data from anywhere, which is a way for you to basically use different types of data sources like PDFs, CSV files. You can use Notion, Slack, Discord, GitHub, I believe PowerPoint and many of the other Microsoft like applications. You're able to easily deploy this as well as use its inbuilt observatory, which simplifies the debugging and speed up process within the development of RAG applications. Now, these are some of the great things that are associated with embed chain. And we'll take a look at this as we install this application. Now let's get to the next step of the video where we talk a little bit more as to how you can install this. Now there's a couple of prerequisites that you need to fulfill. First off, you need to make sure that you have Git. This is an application that helps you clone any sort of repository off GitHub. You need to make sure that you have Python as well as Visual Studio Code. Now this is your code editor that we're gonna be using to interact and code uh, embedded chain to create different types of RAG applications. So once you have these three things fulfilled, we can then move on with installation. Now I'll leave all the links that we used in today's video in the description below. But what you want to do first is go on to the GitHub repo for embed chain. Once you're over here, click on the screen button over here, copy the link for the repo, open up command prompt. Now, once you have command prompt opened up, you can then simply type in git clone and paste the link for the repo. Once this is done, we simply just need to go into the embed chain file and we can then install the dependencies that are required. So what we can do now is type in cd embed chain. Once we're inside this file, what we want to do next is go down onto the repo, copy this over here, which is the Python API for the quick installation. And we simply just paste this in and click enter. This will start installing the requirements that are needed to have this fully functional. This will take a couple of seconds. Now, if it keeps on loading, what you can do is just click enter and it will start installing this application. So once this has fully installed, I'll be right back. Now that we have finished installing embed chain, what we can do is open up Visual Studio Code. Now, what you want to do is have your open AI API key ready because we need to have that inputted within embed chain. Now, you simply just need to click on open folder as to wherever you had cloned embedded chain. So I'm going to just easily open it up. Let me just find it over here quickly. Uh, where is it? Right here. Select this folder. Then you want to go into dot end example, paste your API key. Once you have pasted it, what you want to do is click rename, take out the dot example, get rid of that. And then you simply just need to click save and you, you can then go on to the documentation, uh, which is over here, I believe. Yeah, right over here. And they basically give you the code already, which you simply just need to go on to quickstart.py import the code that you want to work with. In this case, if you're working by starting with using open source models, you simply copy the code for quickstart.py for open source models. You simply just put in your hugging face access token, uh, your API key for it, and then you select the model that you want to work with. So in this case, they have Mistral over here. If you want to use open AI's models, you simply just go into quickstart.py, quickstart.py, sorry, and then input your key over here. Now, once that is done, you can then go forward and start playing around with the different use cases. So in this case, they already have ready-made code for different things. Like if you're working with chatbots that you want to create with this RAG framework, you can easily do so with the code that is provided in the documentation. This is the great thing about this as they have the code ready for you to start working with this embed chain framework. So this is a great way for you to do various different things. They have a full on uh, like 
description as to what you can do in terms of the chatbot they say that chatbots especially those powered by large language models have a wide range of use cases in this case you can do different things such as e-commerce create a chatbot for customer service data analytics your personal assistant and so much more you can do different things where you can start creating questioning question answering chatbots which can help you with various different things as well as well as semantic search now these are some of the some of the use cases you're also able to now create front end layers which they have a documentation on so that you can basically deploy in other areas for example your own website or you can just create a fully functional chatbot application with embed chain as well Another great option to use embed chain is through Google Colab. And this is just simply a code block in which it helps you create different types of rag apps fairly easily. In this case, you can create different types of chatbots within this Google Colab, where you can just base this chatbot off your own data. You give it the data sources that you want to want it to respond with or have context with, and it will basically respond based off the sources that you give it. You just simply need an API key as well as a free Google Colab account, and you can basically create any sort of LM powered bot with this embed chain Google Colab link. Now I'll leave this link in the description below because this is something that could be very helpful for people who do not want to have this hosted on their local desktop. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, the, one of the main big things about embed chain is this new update where you can now work on front end layers. This is where you can deploy on various different types of production ready applications. You can deploy it through render streamlit gradio hugging face and bed chain you have model.com fly.ai and so many others these are just some ways that you can deploy your application to these different types of production ready apps now this is through this new update where you can now create the front end layers so that your chatbot can have a really good ui you're able to have an admin ui as well as rest apis that are utilized within this new deployment process. Now, a couple of examples that I wanna take a look at is that we can see that you're able to create different types of applications like a chat with a PDF, but you're not just restricted to creating chatbot UIs. You're able to do various different things such as REST API services, where you can create apps based off of different types of tool sets. And this is something that you can do with Embed Chain. You're able to do full stack applications, or not do, but create full stack applications, create open AI assistance, open source AI assistance, as well as next.js assistance. This is a great way for you to create autonomous AI agents using embed chain with the RAG framework. And it just goes to show that this is a great tool set that can help you do a lot of different things as they give you a lot of customizable options to help create various different types of things based off of its RAG framework. Now, that's basically it for today's video as we have taken a look at embedded chain quite in depth. Uh, if you want me to make another video, possibly talking a little bit more about how you can create various different types of applications, I can definitely do so in another video. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Definitely check out all the links in the description below. Make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below so that you can access our private Discord. If you haven't followed us on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so. So you can stay up to date with the latest AI trends as well as the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching spread positivity and i'll see you guys really shortly peace out fellas